What's going on everybody? We're at my Focus ST today. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video, about two months, so I do want to apologize about that. But at the same time, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and anyone that has shown me any type of support, you know, by liking my videos, anything like that. I did hit 100 subscribers this past week. I want to say thank you for that. And uh, if this is your first time on my channel, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, Hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys uh, subscribe as well. Uh, I've got a lot of new videos that I'm going to be uploading in the next couple of days, or up in the next couple, of, in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, I'm sure from the title of this video you can tell. Today we're going to be talking about why I decided to go with the Focus ST over the Subaru WRX. Uh, so this all started with me looking for a Civic Type R. I was looking to. Uh, I really wanted to get the Civic Type R, I was really hyped about it when they first started to hit the streets of the US. Um, so I was looking, 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 found one, I put a $1,000 deposit on it, it was supposed to come uh, towards the end of the summer, but then I backed out of it because I started to think to myself, you know, after the hype went down, I could really get something just as good or better for a lot less because the type r i was at like forty-two thousand out the door which is ridiculous it's really expensive and then it, so then i started to think about you know sti wrx um I'm, i've always been a fan of uh the wrx and the sti i was originally looking at some used stis but i really wanted a new car so i started to look at the new 2018 wrx i really liked the new front end that the 2018 got. I like the new wheels. I was looking at a premium, so I was gonna get the nice bigger wheels with it. Um, I test drove it. It was a really fun car to drive. Um, it definitely had some power to it. it. Handled really well, and the salesperson that let me go uh, test drive with it, he really showed me how to get the best out of the Subaru. And they were really strict about not going over 4,000 RPMs because of the. Um, because of the break-in period, but I really—I mean, you don't even need to go over 4,000 RPMs to have fun in that car. But anyways, so I test drove it, did numbers, I negotiated them down like 1,500 bucks from the original price that they gave me, and I can upload a video later on showing you guys how to, you know, negotiate price with a dealership and things to avoid and tips on when you're buying a new car from a dealership or used car doesn't matter. But, you know, since I work at a dealership, I kind of know how things work, and I, I'm really happy to upload a video and uh, give you guys some tips for the next time you're at a dealership negotiating with a salesperson and things to avoid and stuff like that. But anyways, so I was at 30500 out the door for the new 2018 WRX. Originally was at almost 32000 I worked them down about 1500 bucks, And then one day I was at work, uh, I had some spare time and I decided to take a Focus ST out for a drive and I realized that performance wise other than the Subaru having all wheel drive they were about the same acceleration is about the same uh, handling they're both really good handling cars and I started to really get a feel for the ST and I, I really started to you know like consider getting the ST over the WRX uh, for my daily driver and the reason I did end up going with the ST at the end of the day was because was just because it was a better bang for my buck. I'm gonna do a pull for you guys here. So that's 70 right there. This car, this car gets going pretty quick. Um, as you can see, it takes that turn, no problems at all. So the reason why I went with the ST was just, like I said, better bang for my buck. It was the best value for my money. I'm not bashing on the Super at all, but Ford's technology kicks ass. With this car, I'm getting navigation. I'm getting Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with my Sync 3 um, system. I'm also getting Recaro seats. I'm getting HID LED headlamps. All of these things, all of these little bells and whistles that just make my daily driver a lot nicer. And they're things that the Subaru didn't bring for me. So, I mean, I was really happy driving the Subaru. I really liked it a lot. But with the ST, 
I was at $24,800 out the door. I saved myself $6,000. And I also got these uh, these bells and whistles that I really like having because I was looking for a daily driver. And having these uh, having these Recaro seats, which are extremely comfortable, having Apple CarPlay and all that stuff is really nice also. So this is what I mean by it was a better bang for my buck. Uh, I saved a lot of money and you know I got I got more I got more with the ST I really liked both cars but the ST was just a better it was just a better option for me and also when it came down to financing the car Ford gave me a way better rate just because I actually work for Ford and they have a first-time buyer program and they have rebates and all that stuff versus the Subaru doesn't really have much either you get approved at a good rate and that's it they don't really the WRX doesn't really get rebates like Ford does so at the end of the day, the Focus ST was the way better choice. As far as performance, they both performed basically the same other than all-wheel drive with the Subaru. And then technology-wise, the ST was way better as far as tech than um, WRX. So I saved myself six grand. I got, I got a lot more, I feel like. And, you know, I'm having just as much fun with this as I would be having with the WRX. So if you're in the market for an ST and you're considering a Subaru as well, I personally recommend the ST just because I think you're getting a lot more for a lot less. Um, but anyways, stay tuned to the next couple of week or two. I'm going to be uploading some uh, some fun videos. Going to be racing the ST and the SI, and uh, also going to be uploading a couple other videos um, as far as giving you guys tips and stuff for when you're making your next purchase. Um, so, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys keep subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.